I don't know what's more dangerous, sleeping there or getting eaten by lions. You might be better off with the lions. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go down, make sure it's all secure, and then uh, come on down. Okay. Tonight, it looks like we're sleeping on the middle of a cliff. I'm not a big fan of these ladders. I don't know how, I don't understand how this is gonna work. It's terrifying. Okay, Bradley, go for it. Okay. I just asked Eva, could you do it? She says yes. Dr. Jim says nope. Can <laughs> you? No, not at all. <laughs> Welcome back to GMB3, everybody. That's a sneak peek from the upcoming season of the hit show, Just Being Honest. Running Wild with Bear Grylls the Challenge. The series follows the world-renowned survivalist and his celebrity companions as they explore uh, some of the world's most extreme environments, as you just saw. Yeah, and the guest stars will continue to be tested, both physically and mentally, beyond their limits. That's the fun of this mm -hmm. show, right? Bear Girls joins us now to tell us more. Thank you so much He's for being here. with us. Woo. So what can viewers expect? Because I'm sure they're all expecting to see survival things, but what else is there? Well, I think the magic of Running Wild is you get to know these stars in a way you never do just in three minutes on a chat show couch, you know, where they're promoting a film or something. It's, you know, you, we're there for two days. It's a full-on journey always. Committing. They're going to face some fears, as, as we said. It's going to be cold. Tired, hungry, and you get to know the real people. So, I think what are you going to expect? It's stars uncovered, brilliant guests this season with Benedict Cumberbatch, Bradley Cooper, you just saw, mm -hmm. uh, Rita Ora, a whole bunch of great people. Russell Brand was a fun one. Uh, but uh, as for me, it's a privilege of a show. You, you, you get to spend time with these amazing people, introduce them to the outdoors, and as you know, the outdoors can change us all for the better. <laughs> You know, first, you've got to face some fear. Yeah. It does eventually fears, reward right? you. And, and, you know, it can be fun, but it can also be very risky. How do you get everyone to sort of agree to tag along with you? I think, <laughs> uh, I think essentially they, they trust me. They trust the team. You know, my job is to make sure they have an incredible experience, an empowering experience, but ultimately are safe. Uh, I, we take that really seriously. I, it's interesting that always at the end of the journey, the stars go, wow, I, I kind of... I didn't realize it was going to be literally just you, me, a small team, a coil of rope, gunning it, going, figuring it out. On the, they always say we thought it'd be much more planned. And, uh, but I think for, for us, that's the fun part, the improvising, the adapting, figuring it out. And you know, the reason we do it like that is that you never know what someone's going to be like until you're in it with them. You know, mm -hmm. lots of people talk a great game, but you never really know until you start. And sometimes you have to shorten and adapt. And, find different ways. Yeah, what do you do when somebody wants to turn around and like, no, I'm done. I well, can't do it. We move so fast and normally if we, it's almost like you don't get a chance to think. It's like ravine. Okay, hold on, grappling gun. You fire that, I'll tie it off. We've got to go. River level's rising and they're like, Ugh. And then the peer pressure kicks in. <laughs> yeah. well, it's, I think it's literally that it's like, we've got to go now. And it's always forward. So talk about life and fears and a journey and something that's fast-paced and life-threatening. Mm -hmm. I was reading, I didn't know this about you, that you summited Mount Everest. You were the youngest person to do that tw when you were 23. And well, at the time, I was one of the youngest. But, um, yeah, it was a while ago that's now. 20, was... 25 years. I can't believe, I mean, it must seem surreal to you. But wh what do you still take from that? Are there times that you say, gosh, mm. I remember that I learned this then and it's still with you today yeah well i think that mountain been so formative in my life and you know a lot happened up there we had four climbers lose their lives and in many ways it sort of sh shook my confidence more than it built it but it was an incredible time such a, a privilege i was a serving soldier at the time and uh and what, i don't know what did it teach me i think above all respect the wild you know and that's a lesson I've, it's never left me so real quick are you ever afraid and how do you handle your fear I'm afraid masses. In fact, half the time. But I've learned that fear is part of life. We all have it. If you meet someone who says they're not scared, either they're not telling you the truth or they're not pushing themselves enough. So I have lots of fears. I mean, I, I broke my back in a freefall accident whilst I was in the military, but jumping is still part of my life all the time now. You know, I know the answer to the fears. You've got to keep moving towards them somehow if you can. And then it becomes a state of mind and a way of, a way of living. All right, Bear, thank you very much. Best of luck to you, too. Thank you. I appreciate it. And the new season of Running Wild with Bear Grylls, the challenge, a premiere Sunday, July 9th on National Geographic. Well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.